Hello class, let's read a book together. This is how we do it. One day in the lives of seven kids from around the world. I'm going to read this book. You can read along or you can listen. Here is a picture of all the different places that the children we will read about are from. As I read about them, I will do my best to say every word as correctly as I can. As you know, whenever we are speaking or reading a different language, sometimes it can be hard, but we want to try our best. Let's get started. Italy. My name is Romeo and I'm called Mio. I'm eight years old. Japan. My name is Kai, and I'm called Kaishan. I'm nine years old. Peru. My name is Ribaldo, and I'm called Perino. I'm 11 years old. Uganda. My name is Daphne, and I'm called Wabuli. I'm seven years old. Russia. My name is Oleg, and I'm called Olenshka. I'm eight years old. My name is Anya, and I'm called Anu. I'm eight years old. Iran. My name is Kian. I'm seven years old. This is where I live, Russia. I live in a second floor apartment in Yukali, a mining town near the Ural Mountains. Uganda. I live in a house made of wood and mud in the village of Kanyarara. Italy. I live in a house in the village of Koduri Nano with a vineyard in my backyard. Peru. I live in a house my father built in Los Naranos, a village in the Amazon rainforest. Japan. I live in a house in the metropolis of Tokyo one of the largest cities in the world. I live in a second floor apartment in the city of Gorgon, close to the Caspian Sea. I live in a first floor apartment in the northern city of Haridwar, along the fast flowing Ganges River. This is who I live with. Iran. I live with my mom, Masha, my dad, Mohammed, and my little brother, Iran. India. I live with my mom, Shivi, my dad, Mohit, and my younger sister, Anika. Peru. I live with my mom, Sophia, my dad, Isayas, my younger brothers, Nasir and Eber, and my little sister, Nadia. I also have four older siblings who don't live with us. Japan. I live with my mom, Yuki, my dad, Dai, and my younger sister, Nao. Italy. I live with my mom, Francesca, my dad, Oscar, my big brother, Hugo, and my older sister, Mila. Uganda. I live with my mom, Beatrice, my dad, Peter, and my older brother, Roger. Russia. I live with my mom, Katya, my dad, Albert, and my younger brother, Artem. 
This is what I wear to school. Japan. I choose my own clothes for school. I like striped dresses and fancy socks. Iran. I wear a uniform that has a jacket with a built-in shirt collar. India. My uniform includes a special ID card I wear like a necklace. Italy. I wear different clothes every day, but my favorite is the dinosaur sweater. Peru. We don't have a uniform. I usually wear trousers, a t-shirt, and a belt with a lion buckle. Russia. Boys are required to wear a black suit, white shirt, and tie, but I get to pick out the socks. Uganda. We all dress in red t-shirts and green shorts for school. This is what I eat for breakfast. I ran. I have babari bread, eggs, feta cheese, walnuts, and tea with sugar. Italy. I have toast with Nutella spread, a cup of egg yolks mixed with sugar and milk, and tea. Russia. I have oat kasha with milk and butter, farmer cheese, bread, and apple juice. Peru. I have fried rice with chicken and peppers, sliced boiled plantains, and hot milk. Uganda. I have mataki with meat, bread, eggs, and milk. India. I have paneer paratha with tomato chutney and milk. I have rice with furkaki miso soup, grilled cod, and an orange wedge. This is how I go to school. Russia. I walk past large apartment buildings, a mosque, a church, cats basking in the sun, and Mount Irmel, far in the distance. Japan. I walk by myself along the city streets past houses and shops. I smell roasting coffee beans from a cafe and say, Ohoya gasumamasu to the crossing guards. Peru. I walk next to the main road with my younger brothers and sister, sometimes stopping to buy a snack of sweetbread from a fruit stand. Iran. My mom or dad drives me in our car. We zoom past construction sites, office buildings, and people going to work. Uganda. I walk for half an hour with friends along a path, past bicyclists and groves of eucalyptus and banana trees. Italy. I ride a school bus past rivers and canyons, grape and olive fields, sometimes spotting a shepherd and his sheep. India. My mom drives me and my friends in a van through busy streets past hotels, shops, and cows that freely roam the roads. This is my teacher. Uganda. I call my teacher Evelyn. She's been teaching for eight years. Peru. I call my teacher Professor Pedro. He's been teaching for 26 years. Japan. I call my teacher Sensei. She's been teaching for 12 years. India. I call my teacher Ariti Fatla Ma'am. She's been teaching for four years. Russia. 
I call my teacher Svetlana Anatolivina. She's been teaching for 36 years. Italy. I call my teacher Luisa. She's been teaching for 20 years. Iran. I call my teacher Kanum Molan. She's been teaching for six years. This is how we learn. India. We study general awareness and value education, as well as subjects like math, Hindi, and English. Japan. We all wear white indoor slippers and are in charge of cleaning our classroom every day. We study ethics as well as math, science, and Japanese. Peru. Our school is very small, so the 14 kids in the 5th and 6th grades study in the same room. We have different subjects each day, and our school ends at 1 o'clock. Russia. I study three languages, Russian, English, and Bashkir. I'm in a class with the same kids and the same teacher from first through fourth grades. Iran. I go to an all-boys school. We study reading and writing in Farsi, math, science, and the Quran. Uganda. I study at a private school far from home, so I stay with my grandma who has a house nearby. There are 69 boys and girls in my class, and we study math, reading, writing, and religion. Italy. We do many activities outside the classroom, like visit parks and forests, go to museums in other cities, and put on a musical at the end of the year. We have school from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. This is how I spell my name. Russia. I write in Russian using the Cyrillic alphabet. Japan. I write in Japanese using kanji characters. Uganda. I write in Rutturo and English using the Latin alphabet. Peru. I write in Spanish using the Latin alphabet. Iran. I write in Farsi using the Persian alphabet. India. I write in Hindi using the Devanagari alphabet. Italy. I write in Italian using the Latin alphabet. This is what I eat for lunch. Iran. I have ados polo, fresh greens and herbs, salad with tomato, cucumber, onion, and lime juice, and water. Peru. I have white rice, beans, fried plantains, and coffee. Japan. I have rice with chicken katsu soup with cucumber, tofu, and seaweed, salad, and milk. Russia. I have barley kasha with butter an open-faced sandwich with cheese and tea with sugar. India. I have chapati, okra, a chocolate cookie, and water. Italy. I have ravioli with sage and cheese and water. Uganda. I have matoki with tomato sauce and water. This is how I play. Uganda. I like to jump rope with friends from school. 
Italy. I have rock throwing contests in the hills behind my house. Russia. I play hockey with my team almost every day after school. India. I gather with all my friends in the park to play Ramal Chor or Hanky Thief. Iran. I go horseback riding with my friends at a nearby stable. Japan. I play kurioni or freeze tag with friends on the playground by my house. Peru. I play soccer with my two brothers and nephew on a field by the main road. This is where I sleep. Peru. I sleep on wood planks with three folded blankets for padding next to my sister. Italy. I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with a down blanket I use only during the winter. India. I sleep on a huge bed next to my sister and parents. Iran. I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with my favorite blanket. Japan. I sleep on a futon on the floor next to my sister. Uganda. I sleep on a wooden bed under a mosquito net in a room I share with my parents. Russia. I sleep on a lofted bed in a room I share with my younger brother. This is my night sky. The end.